Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sitting down to share my two week postpartum update. Just filmed a little two week update for her. I'll link that down below in case you're interested. And yeah, let's chat. Uh, two weeks postpartum. It's it's wild. Um, if my face and hair are still any indication. <laughs> No, things, I mean, things are going fine. I am very tired today. The past couple of nights have been a little rough. She hasn't had as long stretches when it comes to sleep as she had. Like the first week she was giving us some really long stretches for a newborn, like four, four and a half, five hour stretches, which for a newborn is like so long. Um, the last night she was up a lot and it was very hard to get her to go back to sleep. So I feel like any energy that I had to like get dressed or like you know it took everything in me just to like put this dress on and like put my hair up and brush my teeth and wash my face although I have been really good at like doing the basic hygiene things every day <laughs> which like I feel like only moms will understand like only moms will truly understand just like how how big of an accomplishment that is the fact that every day I like wash my face every day I've done my skincare every day brushing my teeth you know like putting on deodorant putting on lotion like all of those things are getting done and like to me the, those are the wins those are like the little wins I have I did blow dry my hair a little bit was it yesterday that I took a shower I like blew out my hair just a little bit um, knew that like I started sweating immediately and so I was like, all right, I'm not even going to like, who am I kidding? I blew it out a little bit. That's good. And let me just like put it up now um, because it's summertime and I've got a newborn and other kids and like, you know, doing a little bit like made me feel good. So I'm at that point now where I'm like definitely like we're getting there slowly but surely. I have not like been putting on makeup or like I haven't got there yet but i can feel like we're we're inching closer um i did want to mention sweating um that reminded me of the postpartum hormonal sweating um that has that this go around actually hasn't been as bad as i remember it being with theodore and with hugo but it has been noticeable so the past few nights i've had times where like i am just like so wet and behind my neck and like my back and like yuck um but it definitely hasn't been the nighttime sweats have not been as bad as they were in previous postpartum periods which is good um and let's talk about my scar uh so it's still bothering me a little bit i had my two week postpartum checkup uh was it i was last week last wednesday so just a few days ago and the doctor checked she looked she said everything looks good um no swelling no redness no no oozing or anything which is good so that that's positive but it's still it's still bothering me it's still like it certainly does not feel like i don't know it doesn't feel like it obviously it's not gonna be 100 percent two weeks after a c-section after like major abdominal surgery but it definitely like it feels more uncomfortable than it did my last go around um, and when I went for my checkup, so when I went for my checkup, they weighed me, I was 169. I was 184 when I delivered her. So I've already lost like, I think it's 15 pounds, which is, was mostly like her, the placenta, water weight. Oh my gosh, so much water weight. I was so swollen too. And I was so swollen after my C-section, which again, I'll say like, I don't quite remember from my last C-section staying swollen for that long. My ankles and my feet and my calves I finally returned to their normal size now which is amazing and um it's just so fun to like actually see my ankles again <laughs> i get so swollen during pregnancy um i am still bleeding vaginally just like tmi but it's still happening you know now i am fifth i'm 16 days postpartum so i i was expecting that to not i was not expecting to be bleeding still at this point it's not nothing heavy it's nothing worrisome i never like passed any like big clots or anything um but i'm still wearing a pad um, i did graduate out of the mesh undies i would say like maybe that was like seven eight days ago so i'm wearing my alan tracy undies which i could not recommend more guys i cannot 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 if you are pregnant or planning on being pregnant i'm gonna link them down below they are like 
a must have they are a must 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 have they are the softest stretchiest underwear and they go up so freaking high they go up they're like almost touching my bra <laughs> granted i have like no torso they're like all the way up here but they go over my incision which is great they make me feel like a little they're not like tummy control but they like make me feel like a little bit of support um and they've been so great this whole postpartum period um so i'm still wearing pads still wearing the ellen tracy feeling good feeling good about all of that um hopefully i'll stop bleed like i've had some days where like it hasn't been very heavy which is good so it makes me feel like okay we're getting to that point well we're hopefully in like another maybe four or five days like the bleeding will stop um i did stop taking like the tylenol and the motrin and stuff for my incision which like maybe i shouldn't have if it's like still bothering me but it's it, i don't know it's it's at that point now where it's not like hurting me but it's noticeable you know and like if i do too much i can feel the discomfort not just in my incision but also in my back and i've had a few moments where like or if i like slip on something a little bit and my abs go to like support my back i can like feel the incision like get irritated so just like trying to take it easy as much as i can with three kids um jeff is still working from home which is amazing like to have that support has been incredible um let's talk about feeding because that's a big one uh we have so i'm pumping still pumping I feel like i was pumping one week postpartum with her my nipples have finally freaking healed they finally healed so i can't remember exactly what i said in my one week postpartum video but i think i mentioned that they were like torn up torn up like just tragic awful so scabbed bleeding just gross um, so I had bought the lactation consultant from the hospital had recommended Medi Honey and the Silver Cups, Silver Egg Cups. So I ordered those on Amazon, and of course it was like Amazon is like, oh, next day delivery, but then four days later they're like, your package is gonna arrive. So I feel like it was a little bit too, it was like too little, too late sort of thing. Like by the time I actually got the Medi Honey and the Silver Egg Cups in the mail, it like literally took like three or four days. Uh, my nipples were like already like they were scabbed to the point of like they're pretty much healed sort of thing and so i did try the medi honey it seemed to work very like goopy i think it would have been more helpful like you know five days before and i never used the silver cups i just returned them because i was like at this point my nipples are pretty much healed and i'm I had made the decision to be exclusively pumping i did try her again on my boob and i tried with the nipple shield but it was so incredibly painful and like just i all the props to all of you out there who like can breastfeed through the pain or you know can breastfeed through the two weeks of pain until like like for me it's just i've never had a comfortable breastfeeding experience with any of my kids I, it's never gotten to the point where I can breastfeed without any pain and at this point third go around I'm like I'm not doing this I'm not doing it I'm I it's toe curling like body shaking pain and I I just can't I just can't if I also need to like function as a mother to other children and like be doing things during the day like you know I if it, it would be different if she were my only baby and you know I didn't need to be taking care of other kids like doing it anyway all that's just to say that like i was like i can't i i just have to pump and like even pumping at the beginning was painful because of all of the like trauma that had happened to my nipples so finally we got to a place where pumping was not painful and i was like i there's no going back now there's no going back she seems to like the bottle we're using the comotomo bottles and so like that's that's what we're doing that's what we're doing um i've definitely noticed a drop in my supply um, I think it's a combination of her sleeping, longer stretches, and then also supplementing with formula. But I'm pumping. Like, I'm pumping. She's getting breast milk. And, like, I feel I feel really good about where we are and, and how this whole feeding journey is going. And I think especially for now, this works for our family. I'm going to have to reassess in a few weeks when Jeff goes back to work. Um, and then I'm going to have to reassess in a few weeks after that when the kids start school and, like, we start you know zipping around town all day every day during the week and so i just i've shown myself i've gifted myself the grace that like i so desperately 
wish I could have given myself the other feeding journeys and then also just even though it, it hasn't they haven't been easy decisions I've just I've tried to just go with it like and instead of feeling guilty and instead of putting myself down for not being able to breastfeed or not you know did I really give it my all did I really try or instead of doing all that freaking nonsense that like no one needs postpartum no woman needs that postpartum instead of doing that I'm choosing to be grateful that a I am feeling confident in our feeding journey and b that like she takes a bottle she takes a bottle with no issues and I feel very grateful that she really likes the formula we were giving her and there have been no issues there and like I feel grateful that she's gaining weight and like all of those things like that's what we should be focusing on friends and like that's what I'm choosing to focus on so that that's all of that information um I've definitely noticed uh my hair thinning a bit the postpartum hair loss I feel like is already like kicking in I feel like my hair feels thin it feels kind of brittle um I've noticed like a lot of like little flyaway pieces it's only gonna get worse <laughs> I'm only two weeks postpartum and I know like usually that kicks in a lot in like the next few months um, but I I've already like started looking at some like I want to try the Divi hair growth serum I've heard good things about that Nutrafol I've heard great things about so like I've got things on the docket and like if it gets you know to the point where I feel like I need to get that stuff I will um and I feel like that's it really with postpartum we are going on vacation in a week we're going on a beach vacation we're driving which is nice so we're not we don't need to fly and um it'll be something it'll be something but it'll be fine and i think it'll be really nice for being almost a month postpartum and her almost being a month old to just get out of the house a bit and just like have a different change of scenery and our families are going so that'll be really nice and yeah friends that's it that's that's everything so if you have any questions um definitely leave them down in the comments below thank you so much for just all your support and well wishes comments and dms um they are so helpful and just like make me feel feel less alone especially in the beginning like when you feel like oh my gosh is this am i the only one experiencing all of this am i the only one experiencing all of this you know feeding trauma am i the only one experiencing all of this like sleep deprivation it just like feels so nice to know that like of course not like there are other people going through it too and like for us to connect i think it it feels really good so love you all so much and i'll see you in my next one Bye.